Oh my god, you guys. I heard that Nancy Landgrab is, like, getting old. And she gets Botox. But, like, obviously, she can't have rumors like this spreading around. So, when The Sims 4 Mosquito stuff comes out tomorrow, <laughs> she's gonna hire a personal photographer to make her look beautiful and send out some nice publications insisting that she does not, in fact, have Botox and she truly has youthful, beautiful skin. But <laughs> this video is presented to you by EA Game Changers. I got sent early access to the new stuff pack and we're gonna give her a shot today. <laughs> My goal is to give Nancy a little mosquito makeover and then take some stupid photos of her because obviously we have to kill these rumors. We can't have anyone thinking she's old. She is 29. Okay, she's 29. 29 pushing 50. <laughs> anyway, I want to make sure we give her some fancy new looks just for this photo shoot. So I was going to give her like the new slicked back beautiful hair. There are a couple options here. We come, this pack comes with three, four hairs. This pack comes with four hairs. All of which are really nice. This is my favorite one. I gave it to my new photographer, Sim. Her name is Jewel Ray, which by the way, randomized that name, which I was really amused by. But I love her. I think she's adorable and I liked her hairstyle a lot. But Nancy over here, I think we're going to get some extensions and slick our hair back. I love that her eyebrows don't match, but it'd be like that, I guess. I'm thinking we'll get some new plum bob earrings. They match her ear, her eyes, her eyes. They match her eyes, not her ears. Yikes. We'll give her some new earrings, though. The pack also has a few new outfits. We've got this beautiful top, this um, mosquito top, <laughs> this beautiful leather jacket, and this interesting top, but I am a very big fan of this new leather jacket. We also have, like I said, a matching set here. We've got little leather shorts and a pretty skirt, but Again, very big fan of the leather jacket. There is some mix and match opportunity here. It's kind of fun. And we have a fancy new dress, a stunningly beautiful new dress. But I don't know if Nancy can pull this off. I like the, the power move that is this business suit though. And honestly, in the yellow. I think that's like her vibe. And with the matching heels. <laughs> I don't like these earrings either. I mean, we can make them match. Oh, wait, that's kind of good. Okay, can I tone down her eyeshadow? Can we give her her eyebrows fixed? Yeah, she got her eyebrows filled in by somebody today. This woman, she is definitely not having had any work done, okay? Let me tell you. <laughs> All right, but she's looking beautiful. I think that she'll wear this for her photo shoot, and obviously we gotta give Jeffrey a look as well. He'll slick his little hair back. Can we give him some fancy glasses? Oh my god. <laughs> he needs to look really fancy. I mean, how does one look fancy at a time like this? Oh my god. I, I can't bring myself to put Jeffrey Langrod in this. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. Jeffrey Langrod can wear this though. Well, they... Oh, it kind of works because he has the yellow... Wait. Oh my god. This is perfect. Power couple. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, Jewel Ray is here just to take their photos, but we're gonna put a little photo studio in their house. We have a lot of really cool new objects in this pack, and the land grabs have this entire room up at the top of their building that we could totally renovate and turn into a stunning photo studio. So I think step one is to get rid of all this garbage because we don't need any of it. Also, these windows have got to go. We are doing a complete renovation. <laughs> ah. Not that complete, not that complete. Okay, we're fine, it's fine. I'll get some lights up here because it is a little bit dark. And lucky for us, Moschino stuff comes with a ton of things, especially in the door and window department. Like, look at this sliding glass door. Obviously not gonna put a sliding glass door just off the roof probably, but there's some really nice options on it and it matches so many good windows. You guys are not ready for this. We have this open window, this bigger open window, this bigger closed window, and this rounded window. Now, I was very excited about these rounded windows in particular. <laughs> it was like a dream come true and it works for the front of this room. So I think we'll put them right there. It obviously matches the build really well. I think I might even expand the open area above these stick. Ah, oh my God, that was a mistake. I just wanted to make the area above the stairs look really nice. Yeah. It is not my responsibility if the outside of this build looks bad. <laughs> anyway, I'm kind of thinking that I like this solid black swatch on the windows, but there are some nice ones like this one. The black and white swatches are real nice. And I might, I might have to use those. The, the white frame with the black panels. Panels? Panes. <laughs> white frame, black paint. It looks really good. I'm very impressed. And then we'll leave this area over here for the photo shooting, you know? I want some real nice, like, solid black wood flooring. Oh, oh boy. And the pack has two new wallpapers. We have this one. I love the black and white look of that. I might, I might have to use that, but there are some fun color swatches. Like, the solid pink is really good. This one has some fun pops of color also. Like, I'm kind of into that. Maybe I will use that one. Hang on. Hang on just one minute. <laughs> I think that looks kind of good. I think we could put some brick accents. I get, like, very major loft in the city vibes from this, you know? Which I'm super into. It's very nice. <laughs> There's a bunch of other things in this pack and I'm really excited about them. For example, look at this. Some of our photo work. 
beautiful, stunning. We have some just really cool like things, like this art piece. Wow, <laughs> I really like it. I think it's really cool. And obviously Nancy's gonna need a spot to, to get changed and stuff. So we can let this corner be Nancy's little mini closet area. There's fun swatches, oh my God. <laughs> okay, but like I said, the crown jewel of this pack, I think, is this fancy backdrop that we can use to make Nancy Landgrab somehow look good. Wait, I'm sad about this. Hang on. Can I make this wall be elsewhere? Maybe this whole wall can be fancy. Oh, that's good. Or maybe, oh wait, maybe this wall should be fancy. Sorry guys. Work in progress. They have these magic marks so that we can like direct our composition here so that my person's gonna move around when I'm taking her photos. My person being Nancy, of course. There's not enough wall space for fun decorations in this build. I put too many windows. Okay. <laughs> I was just trying to build and, and now I have a visitor. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, Jewel has been a professional photographer for a lot of models and stuff for many, many years, but she's picked up some new work as a freelancer, which is a job they added in an update it's like a new system of freelancer careers, but they have added a new fashion photographer addition to that. So the base game has digital artist, program, and writer, but now they also have fashion photographer in this pack, which is what we're trying to do here. We're gonna become tomorrow's style, a freelance fashion photographer. And this is just like a basic thing to guide you through the new photography skill. On the stream, they're talking about how this isn't like supposed, well, obviously it's a new career for you to have new options, but also it's just supposed to help you do the photography stuff. You don't need to have the career to do it. It's just just a thing if you need help. Um, but we're not gonna, we're, we're just gonna be here doing, hang on, how does this stuff work? Gina's take photo of Sims in everyday outfit. Oh, cool, okay, well anyway. <laughs> I wanna take photos. Oh, you can hire subjects. Hold on, ask to pose. Okay, Nancy, 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 Nancy. <laughs> we'll put our camera on this tripod. Now this, this I've heard is very, very cool. So let's put our backdrop as like cityscape. Oh. Yeah, Nancy's into that for sure. I'm so excited about this. I'm hoping that some CC creators can make- Oh, it moves! Are you guys seeing this? Take a picture of- Wait, no, hold on. Take a picture of Sim on subject mark. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> Tripod was facing the wrong way. <laughs> but look at this. I can use Q and E, like in tab mode, to raise up and down now. I can like walk, use the those keys to move around a little bit. What does this do? Change pose. Oh, oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. I just got so excited. Oh, she's a freak. <laughs> I haven't seen this yet. Okay, I saw all the cast and build items before this, but I have not seen these new items yet. I am very impressed. Nancy, you're so cute. Well, this is Nancy being angry about people spreading Botox rumors about her. Honestly, how dare they? <laughs> this is fashion right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Are you guys seeing this? Because I sure am. <laughs> I love that you can move around like this now. That's so cool. Get a close-up of her face and the ring. Yeah, but like the fact that you can use the tab keys and like turn around and rotate and move like this is like nothing we've ever done before because obviously you guys know that the old photo studio that we had from get to work, you couldn't move around like this. You just, it had like the basic photos that it took. Like it was one one photo and that's all you were stuck with was like that one angle it gave you, but now we can like make them change poses. Like that's stunning. Look at you go, Nancy. She's a model. <laughs> But wait, 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 this, oh, we're good friends now. I hope she likes me. Oh, look at that. And then obviously the new update gave us frame options, but I took a bunch of photos. Oh, I lost one. We can put them outside for all I care. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is legitimately one of the best things they have ever added to The Sims 4. I am 100% not kidding. This is one of the coolest things ever added to The Sims 4. And look, you can take photos of Sim with pet, which is so fun. We've never had that before. In my Simsy save, the land grabs have two little bull terriers. Um, their names are Lady and Lucy, but we're gonna, we'll give them Lady back. And we'll just, see, Nancy's trying to appeal to the mass public. She wants them to think she's nice and good with animals. No Botox and good with animals. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make her take a picture of Nancy with Lady. I think Lady's gonna come up here now. At least Lady should come up here now. I don't know. Lady? <gasps> yeah! Lady. This is my bad for facing the tripod the wrong way. But <laughs> not Jeffrey, not Jeffrey. I don't care about Jeffrey. Nancy and Lady, come on. Oh my God, wait. Oh, you could take them anywhere. And again, with the tripod object, I can move around like this and I can do whatever I want. Look at Nancy and Lady. <gasps> I've wanted this kind of thing for so long. Listen, you guys, I play so many like legacy challenge type things in my own personal gameplay and like the idea of having pictures of my sims with their pets is it brings me so much joy. Like this is all I've ever wanted in the sims. Genuinely. I'm so happy. You guys, you guys, look at that. Tell me that's not amazing. I... <laughs> 
And then with these new frames, you can like put photos in them. Obviously they have to be medium and small photos and I don't have many small photos, but we can get some small photos. Can I just take a photo of pet? Take a picture of, no, darn. <laughs> what about a picture with Nancy? That's just the two of us. Oh, you can set it to take pictures of us together. Wow, that's goals right there. Except my sim looks stupid because she changed. Wait, they look like friends. <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> but look, we can fill up our photo frames because you can just stick photos in. Oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever. All you have to do is drag the photos into them. And this pack came with these digital photo frames. Photos like filter through on these from my understanding. So it'll like filter through photos. Just speed one hour. So if we speed up, it should slowly change to the next photo. So you can display all your photos in one place. That's so- Oh, look, it changed. Okay, wait, can you drag these onto tables? No. <laughs> Well, is that a table? Yeah, it should be. Oh, uh, well, that's all right. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. I don't need digital photo frames on my tables. I just need photo frames in general. <laughs> I'm really excited about this stuff. This really is a photography pack disguised as a dumb fashion pack, but like the photography stuff is so cool. This is honestly possibly one of my favorite stuff packs. Like when you think about how practical this is for actual gameplay, like I'm going to use this all the time. This is awesome for your sims to have access to. Like that tripod, how you can just move around in any way. Like we can't take photos like that. Like you have to take photos using your stupid, it just like takes one spot. Like you can't move it around or you could like rotate it before, but only like on that like horizontal. It was stupid, but now you can move any way you want to take photos. It's so good. And the backdrop is awesome, but you don't have to use the backdrop. You put the tripod anywhere you want. Like there's so much versatility here with this skill. And this is the kind of thing we needed for the, for the, 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 the. What? This photography skill needed this update for so long. And like, yeah, they add a photography and get to work originally. Great, whatever. It's in the base game now. And they have expanded upon it so much. And I, if they had left photography how it was and get to work and in the base game, it was stupid and bad. You can't deny that photography sucked in those packs. But this pack makes photography one of the coolest skills in the game. It's just so useful for everything. And this new freelancer career, like while I might not play with it all the time, it's always fun to have new careers because your sims, like a big part of the career career is just that it's a label because like yeah it's fun to play with a lot of them are rabbit holes this one isn't a rabbit hole it's a freelancer job so you can actually keep doing things and building your skills and also it's kind of fun to be able to say like oh my sims photographer you know because before if you wanted to have your sim be a photographer you would just like have them take photos for money but there wasn't actually much money involved in earning from that because you don't really make much per photo whereas with this your sims can make real money from their photos they can say they're a photographer for real that won't count as unemployed when your sims talk to them like it just this pack is good and like the cast stuff is kind of meh but whatever like, you know, I'm just not into this mosquito fashion brand, but who cares? The build items are so good. This is a great build pack. There's a perfect, um, I mean, I wish there were more items, obviously, like you always wish there were more items, but like there's a lot of build items. The new windows are great. Like these, everything in this pack is good, I think, except for some of the clothes. But again, who cares? <laughs> who knew the fashion pack would be the worst fashion item pack? Like this pack is based on fashion and the cast just kind of sucks. But I think that's a good thing because they really, this was not what I was expecting. When they said fashion pack, I was like, oh, mosquito stuff. You're just going to give me a bunch of like really ugly clothes, aren't you? But they gave me a couple ugly clothes, not a bunch. And that's fine. <laughs> and the photography stuff is so cool. I cannot get over this. Seriously. I mean, I just reacted to it for the first time. Like I had seen a little bit of this on the stream, but I didn't know for sure if it was like as good as I was imagining. And it's better than I was imagining. I have so many ideas and I'm so excited and I can't wait. And this is a good pack. Obviously it's all relative to what you use in your own gameplay. Like if you don't see yourself using photography stuff very often, often probably not worth the money for you but like for me as a person who likes to like have pictures of my sims in their house and plays a lot of legacy challenges where I have like dead founders I want to remember I can see myself like taking photos of my sims with their parents and at their weddings and like getting actually good photos of them to put in my sims houses is really exciting to me because I love the idea of having that like realistic aspect of that like that personal touch in their homes <laughs> and it's so hard to get nice photos right now with what we have but with this pack it's so easy and it's so good and I'm so excited okay it's fine there you go Lil Simsy approved. I take back all the bad things I said about it. I was very not excited about this when they first announced it. <laughs> I told the story before, but when they announced this pack at EA Play, um, picture this, and I'm not exaggerating. They had just announced Island Living. The cr I was in the physical crowd at this like stage they're doing a live stream from. I was there in the crowd. Island Living, everyone screams and cheers and mermaids and wow, like they played the trailer home and was like, ooh, ah, mermaids, ooh, like everyone's so excited. And then they're like, and coming in the summer, the Sims for mosquito stuff. And just like crickets chirping, dead silence in the crowd because everyone was like, mosquito, okay, what's that gonna be? Which is why I think that this collaboration was really stupid and weird. Like if they had called this like a photography pack, which is what it is, I think people would be way more excited about it, but whatever, I don't know. 
I don't know what the politics behind the Mosquito collaboration were, <laughs> but I'm glad that it's not disappointing because I really thought it was going to be. And listen, I was excited when I saw the trailer, but only about like the, the build items. I didn't even know what the gameplay was going to be like. I was just like, well, maybe the career is going to be good, but the build items look. <laughs> and now seeing the gameplay, that's the best part of this pack. And like most of the stuff packs, the gameplay is kind of disappointing. Like in Romantic Garden stuff, the gameplay is what? Oh, you can jump in a fountain and like make a wish on a wishing well. Oh boy. But like in this pack, this completely revamps an entire skill. Like this is a very useful thing to have. It isn't just like some dumb like, oh, made a wish. <laughs> or like in toddler stuff, what the gameplay aspect with some of the like that new toddler playground equipment, like that's fun, but like I don't, it's huge. I don't really use it that often. Cause like, how are you gonna fit that toddler playground into your house? Like a lot of the stuff they've added in past stuff packs are very like niche gameplay things where like you might use it sometimes, but this is pretty good. And I mean, if we compare this to luxury party stuff where the gameplay item was that single buffet table, <laughs> I think a complete revamp of a skill is a lot better than one buffet table. Am I right, folks? But luxury party is a whole other thing. However, I think on that note, I will end this video right here. I mentioned my reaction video, I'll link that down below. I reacted to the trailer, so if you want to see my my earlier thoughts compared to these, that's linked for you. I will be streaming this later today, hopefully. I have a doctor's appointment later, but I'll probably be live still, who knows. But I stream every day on Twitch, either way, that's twitch.tv forward slash lilsimsy. But make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day, and so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. And listen, Nancy looks great in these photos. You'd have no idea she had all that work done. Not a day over 29. <laughs>